guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my first ever monthly makeup basket. So what I'll do is I will move the camera after this introduction and I will go through my drawers and I will talk you through the kinds of things that I want to pick out for the month of say the last week of December right through until like the last week of January and then we'll do this again and it will be a later in the month kind of video or I might do the first one six weeks and then do the next one at the very beginning of February and have it as a beginning of the month kind of video. I will just see what my filming schedule for long term looks like in terms of all the projects that I'm going to be picking up in the new year. So we will see what happens with that. But without further ado, let's dig into my drawers and pick out some makeup. Okay, so this drawer is my kind of everyday slash panning drawer. There's stuff in here that I know that I need to be focusing on for panning purposes. So I am going to take a few things out of here to put in my makeup bag. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer is one that I've been working on for a very long time. I've almost hit pan on it so I'm just going to keep going until I hit pan and then maybe work on something else or maybe just try and finish it up and before I focus on something else. So that's definitely going in the bag. My Peach Perfect setting powder is the only setting powder that I use and this is the only one that's open right now so this is my only setting powder in rotation so I'm going to be putting this in. In terms of a foundation I do have the Revolution Conceal and Define foundation that needs to be finished up but it's not my favourite so I'm not going to reach towards it for everyday wear, I'm going to reach towards it for filming with because I don't like the way that it wears on me over time so for filming for a couple of hours it's fine but if I'm going out of an evening not that anyone's going out anyway but if I needed it for the full day this isn't going to cut it so I'm going to go in my other drawer and this one has all of my complexion products in so I'm going to take out the Revolution Super Dewy Tinted Moisturiser because I'll use that as a tinted moisturiser for days where I want less coverage and for my foundation days I think I'm going to go with I will go with the Too Faced Born This Way this one really works for me in terms of I trust it I know how it performs that kind of thing but it, this this shade is a tad too yellow on me so I am also going to pick out my pink drops here. They are lightning drops but they're pink toned so it will work with the one this way. So we have foundation, we have setting powder, we have bronzer. For blush, the blush that I'm focusing on is this one. This is the one from the Revolution palette that I repressed into this little compact here. I'm going to pack this in but it is very mauvey, purpley, pinky toned so I will look for a more neutral or a more red or something I think as well so I just got this from on my desk there it wasn't in a drawer this is the MUA blusher in cupcake and this is almost my most neutral blush so I'm going to put that one in as a neutral blush and I'm also going to put in fetish because it's kind of a brownie red shade but it's also really neutral so fetish and cupcake and the pinky movie one that's in here for highlighter I did actually just take gold on the highlighter that I was using so I kind of want to put this back into my collection for right now but it will go in the top panning drawer because I will pull it out in a project ev again eventually. I am going to put in this Revolution Pro Priming Water because it is in a project pan right now and I've not used it as of yet even though it's in a project pan so I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put in this. This is the XX Revolution highlighter that I got recently. I've not used this yet so I want to try this out and for a pinky highlight I think I'm going to put this in. This is another one by Revolution. This is Starstruck in the baked formula. So that's for highlight. So we need primer. For my primer, I'm going to put in the primer that I'm panning right now, which is the Revolution Pore Blur, Blur and Prime Primer. I'm also going to put in the Too Faced mat a Cooling Mattifying Primer because I not don't currently have a mattifying primer on the go. So I will put that one in. These two are going in. For my setting spray, I'm putting in the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist setting spray that's two thirds of the way done now. I'm just gonna focus on this until it's done so that one can go in. So all that's left now is eyes and lips. Lips will do on the top surface here just because most of my lips are up there and it's easier to take you up than it is to bring them all down. So I'm going to do eyes and then we'll move to lips. I have some stuff in here that I've not tried yet that I really want to try. Mm, not anything in here I don't think. Not for now anyway. So two palettes that are newer to my collection is the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude palette 
and the gold nine pound palettes that she did recently. Let me show you these. So I've not hauled these yet because these were Christmas presents and they'll be in my what I got for Christmas video. But I've used this one maybe once and I've not used the gold one yet. So I want to try and get some use on these and try out the colors. And I love the Huda formula. So that seems like a good plan. I think I might also take the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice because this have, hasn't had enough love yet. And I really, really enjoy the purples and I'm really reaching towards purple right now so those three are going in so I'm also gonna put in this palette this is basically just my everyday palette and it has in it a bunch of shades that have pan that need using up that are more old in my collection and when they're in here I tend to reach for them a little bit more but also I have everything here that I would need for example I have my matte cream shade to set my primer with I have a transition shade I have two highlighting shades I have one dark brown for deepening up stuff and I have a bunch of of neutral lid shades in here as well so I am going to put this in this I cannot live without this palette and when I get rid of these shadows I will get another single that's old in my collection and replace that but it will always have a bunch of lid shades one brown one matte so that it's kind of my own palette that contains everything basically I'm also going to take my peanut butter and honey because I use the shade here going nuts for my brows so that is why that one is going I'm also going to have two more palettes I know it seems like a lot having so many palettes but I want to try different things and maybe just use this one once and try this out and I love this I'm always reaching for this so I kind of I'm still reaching for it I want it to be part of my everyday life so that is why that one's going in this one I've not tried and it's from last year's Christmas collection so I need to try this and there's a bunch of other stuff that I've already put in that I want to use more of but also at the same time some of the formulas I want to try a little bit more so it's I might use each one only once but it's getting to know my collection a little bit better that's why I'm putting so many in so these two are going in and that is everything for eyes so I said that's everything for eyes that's not true I also need a black eyeliner my eyelid primer a mascara I'm also going to put in a brow gel and a lip liner and a lipstick both in red because Christmas so I'm also going to put in this. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Wifey. I love this as a nude shade and I'm kind of using more matte liquid lipsticks right now because of masks and everything. So this one is going to go in. Also, I'm glad that I didn't forget this. I didn't put any concealer. So we have the Conceal and Hydrate by Makeup Revolution. This is in my lipstick holder. That's why we didn't do it before because normally I reach for it there. So I'm putting this in. And I have three more lip products here. I have the Bella Pierre Cosmetics kiss proof lip cream in 40s red i have the i think this is Illamasqua lava lips in the shade vixen and i have a givenchy lipstick in the shade 16 so these three are also going in because they're wintry they're christmasy and i have a nude i just i don't have a pink but i have pink glosses in my handbag already i'm not going to dig those out but they are in my daily rotation so i don't need to put a pink in my makeup basket tell a lie I am going to put this one in. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in 220 Sugar Plum. I love this shade, so that is going in. And this is how full my thing is. So I'm gonna to have to do some rearranging of this, but I want to try and get it closed. If I need to take a palette out, I need to take a palette out. So I'm just going to have a look and see what I wanna keep in. If I can close it without taking anything out, then I'll try and do that, but we will see. Okay, so I got it closed and I didn't take anything out. So that is everything for this time's makeup basket. I'm thinking of probably doing this again, either at the end of January or at the beginning of February, and then seeing what I have in here and taking some stuff out. And I'm putting some new stuff in. I have to look at my filming schedule as to whether it will be the end of January or the beginning of February, but keep an eye out on my channel around that time and you will see that video come up. There'll also be a playlist of all of these if you enjoy watching this kind of thing, people going through the makeup and stuff. This is my first ever one of these, so if you have any tips for me about things you'd like me to change, then please say so because, as I said, this is my first one of these. I've never done this before. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what you guys are expecting. So yeah, just let me know in the comments comments what you think I should do, any tips, tricks, anything like that that you have, anything that you can provide me is great. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye!